Hey guys, it's the captain here. I'm here with Joel from Chase Bliss, my man Danish Pete, and Chase Bliss's official knob twiddler, Zach, on the floor <laughs> down there. Um, so what is new at 2018? New in 2018 um, is this pedal right here, um, the Condor, and uh, this one over here, the Therme. And, and what do they do? What do they do? Um, it's always kind of hard to answer that question because they do a lot of stuff. But um, the Condor is an analog EQ and an overdrive, and also it, um, it has some r r resonant filtering capabilities. Cool. And uh, our big thing is all analog s s signal path, which is kind of like unprecedented and ridiculous digital control. Should we get Pete to play and Zach to twiddle in? Because yeah. it sounds like one of those kind of pedals where it's easier to hear it than it yeah. is to kind of just explain uh, exactly. everything. I think we're starting out with a kind of more of a rock tone-ish kind of thing and then he's going to uh, switch around with some of the filtering, which you can do with the dip switches. You can ramp the knobs, but he's going to do it manually. Awesome. We got a guy. We got a guy. <laughs> I guess, I guess we could go on all day, uh, but that's cool. And uh, so if we jump onto the blue one, did you say that was a Therme or something? Or? Yeah, Therme. Therme. Um, what does that do? It uh, So it's an analog delay technically, but it does uh, pitch shifting and harmonizing on the repeats. And um, we just, we don't we don't know how to, how to demo this one yet. It's going to be... <laughs> An experiment. Okay. Like sometimes, sometimes we'll get some really, really cool stuff, and then sometimes it's just it goes mad. Yeah. Well, bad. I don't know. Mad, mad. Yeah. But that's a thing, isn't it? Nothing, I mean, it's, it's, it's there's it's, nothing wrong with it's that. It's all cool, man. Right. right so Let's do it. Do we want to start with the sequence mode or what? I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna sequence through some. Uh, let's just see here. Maybe just uh, that. No, I like that. I like that. Right now, I think it's like in a 3-4 kind of thing. I'll try to do a 4-4 um, four, four more feel. Sequence mode, you, you really have to like, you kind of have to think of it more as a, a c c collaborator because it kind of has a mind yeah, yeah, of its yeah. own. You can also do a step mode where you step through the sequences. Okay. Um, let me turn this one off. We'll do uh, uh, a 
octave up. I don't know, I feel like I always do this. Yeah, it's good, it's good. Okay. Um, So with this one, if you just start start to play something along with the delay. control I think in a live context to you know just do more normal kind of delay stuff and then control when it does the pitch shifting and get crazy wow. so it's much more musical and usable yeah, in a yeah. band context well it gets blown by all of these amazing battles like well okay well I'm sure we shall try and do our best to do something a little bit more in depth with those when we get them into the store <laughs> yeah, um, absolutely. but for now it's congratulations on the award as well uh, I should also mention, uh, I, uh, this is a collaboration that we did with... Oh, cool, well, that's the amp you're talking about. The amps. Oh, yeah, awesome. um, I designed the chorus in it, and it's the Ryan Adams signature amp. Oh! He just got it done like a couple days ago, so oh, well I'm really psyched to have it here. Yeah. It's a beautiful looking amplifier. It looks, really it looks cool. very military, doesn't yeah, it? It's, it's of... very, yeah, it's, it's definitely got an awesome look. Cool. All right. Well, happy days, right, guys. Thanks a lot. Yeah, yeah. That one, that one actually worked out pretty good. It's, it's always an adventure with that one, you know. So nice playing.